What's up, everybody? Welcome back. BSL 16. Just got to see a pretty epic Zerg vs. Protoss match in Ziki vs. Chow GG. And now our Hungarian Zerg is back at it again, Nyokin. And he's facing off against John Hoon. So, yeah, yeah man, this is going to be epic. <laughs> Ziki looks strong, but Chow looks stronger than I was anticipating him to be. However, John Hoon, I think, is by far the best Protoss in the Chinese scene. So if Zeke's having trouble with Chow, I imagine it's going to be even harder versus John Hoon. But like I said, at the very bottom of the round of eight this season, it's John Hoon. I don't know if if it's just bad luck for him or if he's you know had to face all the strongest opponents so far in the round of eight. But John Hoon not living up to what I was expecting this season. I thought he's going to be at least top two. Uh, but regardless, this is going to be an exciting match because John Hoon is just really top notch. Yeah, absolutely, man. I, I fall, I, you know, I echo your sentiments exactly. I can't believe we're seeing him at the bottom of the pit here, man. But it just kind of speaks to the, you know, once again, just the level of all of these players here in this top eight. Uh, I mean, players are constantly evolving, getting better. We're seeing it, you know, season after season here. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be Ziki Jeonhoon on Nemesis here for game one. I wonder if we could see the Nexus first on <laughs> Nemesis out of Jeonhoon. You know, you think that's the play here, Naokin? If he if he 12 Nexuses after watching Ziki nine pool three games in a row, I'm just going to say it. You deserve to lose, man. <laughs> I mean, you just flat out deserve to lose. So I'm I'm praying he doesn't 12 Nexus. But it could happen. <laughs> it could happen. I mean, he could yeah. be thinking there's no way he's going to nine pool four games in a row, right? But I right. mean, I was even looking at chat. People were saying, Chow must not watch Zeke games because Zeke loves nine pool. So I'm expecting to see it again. And we do have this screen, which means our players are ready. So let's get into our nemesis PVZ, John Hoon versus Zeke. And spawning top left of Nemesis as the blue Protoss, it is John Hoon. And in the bottom right are Red Zerg, it's Ziki. And ironically, it was John Hoon that picked Nemesis, right? So actually, I'm yeah. kind of surprised. I'm, I'm surprised he picked it because if he was watching the series, Ziki picked this map last time. So you would imagine, hey man, Nemesis is a weird map. I think Protoss so far in BSL has done really well on Nemesis. So I don't think I would ever pick Nemesis, even if I had practiced on it, because why on earth would a Zerg pick this into Protoss? The Protoss has just been dominating it. So I would feel like I would be playing in the Zerg's hands because they must have something planned. Yeah, they. I mean, they must have something planned. And Ziki clearly showing that he's very good at the map so far. But at the same time, we are seeing some adjustments from John Hoon, right? So obviously, he it already looks like he's not going to be playing okay. this as Chow GG uh, did prior. So this is likely going to be a forge at the natural here, I'd guess. Um, and he's going to be able to play safe. And, you know, as you mentioned, this, it's not like this is a bad map for Protoss. Protoss just needs to know how to play it right. Yeah, it, so it's, I, a, it's a weird map. It's unlike any other map in the map pool. So you would need to have somehow lucked out into a lot of practice games on ladder or you're asking you know teammates for specific practice on this on this map because this plays nothing like Vermeer or Polypoid or you know maps of that nature we've got a probe already at Ziki's base and he's done a good job to delay this this hatchery from going down already but just like versus Chao GG Ziki's <laughs> he's knocked that probe down to less than 20 health so good job from him and cleared the space he needed to take that natural. I mean, that that's really where you, in my opinion, you can see a big difference in player skill. It's just the original work and control, man. Work and control is tough. There's a reason why not everybody can do it at that level. But man, he had no problem pushing off John Hoon's probe there. John Hoon's probe absolutely took, you know, the the, the brunt of the damage there. And it didn't end up slowing down Ziki at all. Two cannons even going down here from John Hoon. Now, okay, this is not a nine pool. So John Hoon really respecting this. Yeah, it's an over pool. And that means he didn't necessarily need the second cannon, but doesn't want to risk it. And this, these links may intercept the probe. Nope. Probe does actually manage to get away for now. 
And okay, unlike all the other games we've seen so far from Zeke, this is two hatch into gas. Now he's going to take a third base at mid right, but this gas is faster than it was in previous games. Yeah, I wonder if that could be for faster Spire, I'm assuming, but you know, may maybe there's something else he could be going for there. Obviously, third base going down here for Zeke, and this oh. is where things can get a little scary. You know, obviously Zeke has Zerglings, so he's going to be able to scout this, going to be able to clear those eggs, hopefully in time, and, and be able to push off uh, this probe here from uh, John Hoon. But still, this could be scary, man. If a few cannons get up, uh, you know, at a third base, it's a very easy way to kill a base. Yeah, and Zeke realizes this is a cannon rush, so he instantly sends drones. I don't know if two is actually the number you want, though. Maybe it is. But he's going to start spending a lot of his resources to build multiple cannons. Okay, actually, I, this was a big mistake from John Hoon. This is going to get shut down instantly. And remember last game, we were talking about how Chow's cybernetics was late, like he didn't mine gas for a long time. Look how late that cybernetics is. And we know that this was a fast uh, a fast gas from Ziki. So this is going to be even faster than the game we just saw on Silphid. However, he does pull his drones back. And John Hoon's like, nope. You, lo you yeah. lost vision? I'm just going to build it again. Is this G5 machine? What is going on here? Are these going to get up? More Zerglings being committed over here at the third base. I don't know, man. Eggs take such a long time to kill. I, I think this was another mistake, maybe, from Zeke. Yeah. I think he definitely botched this. He had it, and then he thought that the it was over. Now this cannon's actually going to complete... And what was a good spot for Zeke, all of a sudden he's in big trouble. That's a completed cannon, man. Luckily, Zerglings are going to pop out, but those eightlings are not helping. Yeah, Zerglings going to come in here, but not before a, a pretty serious amount of drones have been torn down here from Zeke. So this was absolutely a trade. Still, Zerglings going to be finishing up at this third, going to be rallied in here from the natural, and he might be able to finish this off? Oh my gosh, it's so close. Oh, he droned! That means that his oh. base is done! It's dead! Oh no, not like this. Oh man, yeah, that's gotta be a dead base. And Zal Zealot's even being rallied in from the natural here. Zeke forced to abandon this, transfer all of his drones off, and man, he is in such an annoying spot now. I think this gets this game is done he spent so much money trying to defend mid right which he can't defend now he also didn't spot these zealots moving out so these zealots are going to go into the natural at a moment where lings are completely out of position and protoss's stargate timing is actually not as far behind as i thought compared to the spire also there's no nat gas so how much mutas can you actually build here this feels like at this point, it's now John Hoon's game to lose. He's just got such a good, good advantage. Yeah, this is a massive advantage here for John Hoon, no question. Boy, that's uh, that's got to be frustrating if you're Zeke, because you had this dead to rights, and Protoss is able to come back into this one just by making a few cannons. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my gosh. Well, what do you do now as Zeke? I think all he can really do now is. Pray to God that five mutas can bust down these cannons at the natural and then flood in links. I don't, I don't see a world where he can actually transition out of this. Yeah, I, I don't either. The eco damage isn't spend too much. I mean, look at the supply, and you got to recognize that about ten of that supply is in zerglings. So, oh man, oh. tough spot. Score jar out here. Ooh, so close to killing off that first corsair of John Hoon. Um, but yeah, not quite able to do so. Yeah, it doesn't pick it off, though. And we do see third base. No, not. Wait. Oh, OK. Sorry. Third hatch at the natural. I'm like, wait a minute. I know a hatchery got built somewhere, but it's actually at the natural. And Ziggy is going to take a third base at bottom middle. But he is so far behind because, like you said, even though he's his supply is 30 to 50, it's like eight supply of it's in lings right now. So drone count insanely low. We do have Lings knocking down these eggs. I mean, maybe this is one way Zeke can try and catch up as if maybe John Hoon's sleeping. He can kill those eggs off at the top side. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's a lot of cannons in the main machine, so I don't know what these Lings are going to do, even if they do get in. Yeah, I don't think that's what he was necessarily aiming for. I think he knows he's got to prevent a third at this point from John Hoon. Um, so maybe if he clears these eggs in time, you know, 
he he'll at least have an opening to to tread pressure at third base or prevent it. But who yeah, knows? Well, he will prevent them, but. Well, I like what he's doing, and he is powering like a madman. I guess if it was me, I see that he's mining 900 gas right now, but he can't use it. I think those drones really need to get on the minerals right now because his drone count is so low, but maybe he's just going to try and overwhelm with mass mutas at some point because of how much gas he's banking. He's got more Scourge being pumped out, and we do have gas being spent, so those are mutas this time around. Yeah, I mean, five mutas, great option here, right? Maybe if he's able to find some kills in a mineral line, like uh, in his past series, or, you know, at least prevent a Nexus from going down in a third. There's, you know, ways you can play your way back into a game like this. Um, but, yeah, it's in general, though, things not looking great here for our Zerg. That is six Corsairs out. Zealots uh, look like legs are just about to finish up here, so this is going to be a big timing uh, incoming here from John Hoon. Yeah, well, luckily for Zeke, because this is Nemesis, you can see he really only needs to defend his natural. If he kills off the assimilators at bottom middle, third base wouldn't be breachable. But now that I see the mini map, I mean, those assimilators are still alive. So Protoss could move over there and knock down that third base. Of course, if he knew about it, I don't think he knows about it just yet. Yeah, no, he hasn't had any vision of it just yet, though. Plenty of Corsairs, though, showing up uh, for John Hoon. Actually, Zeke kind of pushing him back. Wow, very nice Scorch oh. connections there from Zeke. Yeah, really nicely done, but still three Corsairs survive. And this is enough to actually force John Hoon on the retreat. So that was well done from Zeke. He is going to survive the natural bust right now, but it's still almost a 50 supply lead for John Hoon. So John Hoon's still at a massive advantage. And I think at this point, oh, I thought John Hoon suspected that a third base was up, but he actually is gonna turn around for now. He hasn't scouted it, which is kind of odd to me. He's got those Corsairs. I mean, we obviously have so many Scourge though for Zeke. It's the one thing uh, he has, you know, excess of. You know. So I, I don't know if John Hoon even would want to continue the Corsair production at this point. Still no third base up uh, for John Hoon, or even started yet. Siki's done a great job tearing down those eggs and being able to scout that out. But it looks like John Hoon finally going to clear that Ling at the third and start his own third. And that, that means Ziki here going to need a fourth base. Um, and remember, mid right is still cannoned. So I'm not exactly sure what Ziki's supposed to do here. Well, mid left might get denied because this is a lot of mutas and a lot of scourge. And machine, I never saw Hydrogen get placed anywhere but we had a queen's nest go down in the main now i may be trolling with what i'm about to say but is this guardian devour like what is this uh is that a thing it, could that possibly be it? i mean we don't have anything else other than ling muta i could maybe i mean guardians are pretty strong on the map but i'm oh I'd be lying to you if i ever saw a guardian devour wow a lot of scourge connecting once again for ziki here he still hasn't even taken his third gas either, so there's potential for more. You know, is this Guardian... Is Guardian Devourer a thing? Well, okay, I don't where think is it is. <laughs> yeah, we do see double Evo, so I guess it's going to be Ling Ultra. But I was thinking about it. I mean, he's built so many Scourge, and he hasn't seen a Templar at all. You know, if he knocked down all the Sayers, you get plus two armor or whatever on the on the Mutas, you're going to have air, air upgrade advantage. Guardians, yeah. you know, they start with a lot of armor. So do Devours. And there's a lot of high ground here. I mean, I guess I could see Guardian Devourer working, but with the double evolution chamber coming in, this does look like we're most likely going to see Ling Ultra. I don't think Ling Ultra is what we're going to see, honestly. I, I don't think Ling no? Ultra is a thing. No, especially not on this Oh, there's map. the Hydra Den. Oh, yeah, well, it's going to be Hydra. I it, it yeah. seemed weird, but, but it was like, I don't see Hydrogen anywhere, but now we finally yeah. see that the natural. I could see this being Guardian Hydra with some Devourers okay. for sure. I, I, I think with Hydra, you can kind of make it work. So we might be seeing that here. If Zeke's able to just push mid left and kill off this third base with a, a unique timing, who knows? Maybe, that, maybe that's a quick way to end this one, given his position. We're seeing a lot of money being spent here for Ziki. All that gas is pretty much diminished. 
we might be close to I don't know if it's Greater Spire or not, but maybe. Yeah. He has absolutely no gap. Nope. Okay, there's the Defiler mount, so it was just a weird way to get into Hydras and get into Defilers. And with the air support, he does finally clean up mid rights and he instantly takes it. So now Zerg is gonna be on four bases, four gas, really only has to defend one position, which is his natural. But yeah. this is so many Sairs. Despite killing so many Sairs, there's still seven left over. Yeah, that's a ton of Sairs, honestly. But I mean, when you really only have a few spots to defend oh. and you're not moving out, like, maybe he just gets his Hydras here and... I saw this maybe there's yeah. like a long, a long way back in this one for Ziki, you know? Well... I mean, he's got to play for the late game at this point because he just doesn't have an army to really do anything. He can't counterattack mid left. I don't even think he could counterattack bottom left because there's so many stairs. Now, I did see in the main of of John Hoon that his cybernetics was still spinning. I don't. I you would assume it's for range, right? But we're at 14 minutes in the game. Could he really be upgrading range at this point, or is this potentially like? Fleet Beacon somewhere for plus two weapon. I don't know, but Ling <laughs> almost, or they do get a Templar and they got a couple of goons. That was a good trade. Ziki needs to kill this assimilator off mid right here. He's in serious trouble. Oh no. Can you fit he's through? Gonna, yeah, if you kill those off, Zealots can fit through. So he's going to lose this base here. Oh, they do fit through. So Ziki not aware. That Zealots fit through. You can see even he's surprised, now scrambling into position. That's a lot of hatcheries in his main, so he's going to have a lot of links to support or to get in here, but that's like 10 Sayers comboed with a lot of Zealots. He may be able to take this down. He is going to take this down. Yeah, this is the dead base. Suddenly, John Hoon is going to be on four base. Uh, yeah, to the, the just the single base or left mining of Ziki here shortly. Shoot. Yeah, that was a good good catch from John Hoon really needed to knock that down and I like how he's expanding to bottom left at the same time so he's gonna have four base four gas versus the Zerg that's really struggling to do anything out on the map or even take bases for himself and the transfer of probes does get intercepted but I think the majority of them will make it across the map we've got to file oh that's a completely open base how did that happen he didn't take down the assimilators at all no, he did not. There's definitely a little window here for Ziki to run these units in. He's just got to go for it at this point. Dark Swarm going down on two of the Lurkers. At least this is going to draw John Hu's attention here uh, to mid left. Defiler trying to slip through here, and it's just cannons, Nyokin. These cannons should be taken down here pretty shortly. Uh, Pylon getting focused down here. Templar being focused down by a couple of Zerglings very quickly. And yeah, the Nexus is under fire. Maybe if he kills off this third base here, he does. Nexus went down. Yeah, and he's still wow. going to trade effectively here. I mean, he also killed a lot of cannons too. Those are you know, not negligible. That's a lot of money to be lost. However, the, the Sairs are the real issue here. Is they're still alive, man. There's still 10 of them. Scourge, Even don't after connect. All this yeah. Oof. Yeah, this is big, big damage here from John Hoon. Eventually, you know, Ziki's going to end up being so supply blocked, it's really, it's going to just hinder his economy. Yeah, and now the Sair count is actually quite low. What is it, two? That's not a scary amount of Sairs at this point. The Mutas are still dealing a lot of damage. Whether they actually kill the Zelts or not doesn't really matter. He's soaking, or he's been able to dish out a lot of DPS to those Zelts. He's going to pick off. The final Sarah, I don't know what's going on in this game. Ziki has like seven hatches. He just needs to get mid right, and he's actually still in it. And that's a greater spire machine. Yeah, that is a greater spire. So, I mean, we must have been sensing something here. <laughs> but it looks like, yeah, he's going to end up hopefully clearing mid right and then pushing bottom left here with this guardian force zerglings and defy and lurkers already being set up and it looks like john hoon had the same idea here going to push oh. in huge swarm going down on all three lurkers and wow suddenly six o'clock is completely exposed here yeah he needs to evacuate these drones asap i don't think there's any way he can hold it but actually john hoon's not confident to move in remember he still yeah. doesn't have a, uh, an observer. Okay, there, there's one, but 
He's not aware that there's absolutely no defense. Meanwhile, we see Ziggy starting to take top right as his fourth base. So at least Ziki has an out here. Dropping reloaded up and moved out, though, for Ziki. And remember, we had those Guardians at some point. They should be moving somewhere. Is this a drop? I mean, it looks I think like it a is. drop, but I don't think it is. I, I, I don't think he has enough supply for it to be a drop. But those Overlords are getting murdered! The storms are huge! Yeah, Overlords moving in here. Guardians as well. All of the Overlords following the storms. Oh my god. And I think there were units in them. Dude, he, do he doesn't have Sayers left over. How does he engage this? He just blew all of his storms on the Overlord. Now Guardians are just going to wreak havoc on this base. This Dark Swarm buffers a lot, right? Because the Lings are un you yeah. know, untargetable by goons. There's not a lot of anti-air over here. However, Ziki is losing a ton. I mean, look, he's supply blocked. He's sub 100 supply. Yeah, only 63 uh, Overlords worth of food available. I mean, not, not a great spot to be. He's got 2,500 minerals, so, I mean, he can absolutely continue with where he's at in this game here. Guardian's being focused down, but not before doing a significant amount of damage here. We've got four left. Crackling's moving in bottom left as well. Oh, Nexus falls. The Nexus. He's still got a Dark Swarm, so if he can get into oh. the Nexus, he's going to lose all the Guardians. I mean, that was a huge storm, but... If he has one more Dark Swarm available, he may be able to actually pop that Nexus. But Zealots are moving into position. Cannons actually did a lot of damage there. And that Dark Swarm does, or the, the Ling Count runs out before getting a, a second Dark Swarm down. Looks like top right is available. There's an Ultra Cavern, so you've willed it into <laughs> fruition here. He's going to end up going Ultra Ling. Uh, and the looks like the Crackling drops are going to continue bottom left here. Yeah, we could have a drop bottom left, but uh, it, despite sending all those overlords over there, I don't think he actually unloaded anything. But top right is a big deal for Zeke. If he can get that up and running, he's it, it's, he's still behind. Let's let's not be crazy here, but it would be a playable position. However, John Hoon is starting to take top middle himself, and it does get scouted. But what can you actually do about it? Oh, he well, can't get overlords. in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess he can't. He's Is that maybe four overlords looking for a drop at 12 o'clock, though? I, I kind of think it is, or five overlords. If he ends up killing that base off with drop, I mean, that would obviously be huge here. Yeah, but like I said, I just, I just don't think he has anything in there. I don't know if he has drop upgrades or, or yeah, what, he, but those overlords just definitely don't have anything loaded up right now. Yeah, you're right. He's only at 100 supply. Oh, now guess. he does. Now is he loading up? Looks like he's now loading up, but there's still not a lot of defense there. Only three cannons, but now with Zealous moving into position, those will help quite a lot. Here we go. Here we go. It looks like some kind of a drop going off here. Mid right. Or unload. Yeah, top left. Unloading Zerglings, Ultras. He's got a good surround on these three cannons. I think this is a dead base. Yeah, he got it. He got it. I can't believe it. And Look, those probes are still bugging out, and because those assimilars are taken down, John Hood can't do anything to save it, so that's a dead base. He's got to be freaking out now, man. Like, think about it. You got a cannon rush, did critical damage. I mean, you set back Zerg to the Stone Age down on two hatches for so long. Now, all of a sudden, you're watching Zerg take all of top right while you're taking bottom left. You feel like you were literally just letting it slip. Oh, for sure. I mean, he had this one. This was in the bag. I, I had completely counted out Ziki here after that start, man, but he oh. is really pulling his way back into this one. He's going to bust the main now. All the units have moved to bottom left. Oh, there, no. There's Only nothing here. The there's no Reaver. Uh, I got a question for you, Machine. Are yeah. Lings good versus buildings? Uh, they're extremely good versus buildings, though. Can but they got shields. Yeah, Zerglings don't seem to care about the shields. I don't oh, even think Zerglings don't. know what shields are. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> they just eat it anyway. Oh, boy. T that's Academy going down. All of the probes. There's even the Overlords here, so he's going to trade very efficiently against these Dark Templar. I mean, this is just uh, a masterclass comeback here from Zeki. Yeah, this is, this is unreal. And a drop to bottom left with the Guardian support machine. He's everywhere. He's got every unit comp. Oh, and he's transferring to top right. So he's going to have five base. 
Oh my god, he's just picking him apart? Yeah, man, he is really turning oh, it on oh. here. Templar is being focused down by the Guardians. Not a single storm even going to get... Okay, I lied. One storm getting off on those Guardians, but it's not enough, man. These Zerglings are all over the cannons. Very... I mean, just so much damage being done here. Good storm, though, uh, from John Hoon. But it oh looks like Zeke is going to hold here. Dude, he might be dead. He, he's given up bottom left. He's counterattacking top right as his last hope. But the Nidus is there. There's Dark Swarm there. There's still an Ultra at top left doing damage in his main. Yeah, man. Zeke is just all over the place. We're seeing supply count advantage here for Zeke for the first time in this game. Too much Zerg. This is over. This is over. Protoss had a massive lead, and Ziggy with one of the best comebacks on one of the weirdest maps I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> with one of the strangest unit comps. I mean, that was Guardian supporting an Overlord drop. You ever seen that before? I've never, never in my life, man. I mean, <laughs> I was saying, you were like, this looks like Zergling Ultra. I was like, no way, that's not a thing, especially not on Nemesis. Where are you going to attack? You're not going to attack. You're going to drop them. <laughs> man. <laughs> He just made it work out so, so well here. I can't believe the comeback we're watching. Uh, what does John Hoon have? What's that? Four Templars, an Archon, and a Zealot? He's got five Zealots sitting at mid-right, but hello, there's no base there. The Reaver, I think, once this attack, if this attack dies at top right, the game, is, like that's it. John Hoon's just going to tap out. But that is a lot of firepower, a lot of AoE with the Zealots, or with the Reavers, but he's going to be careful to not lose them. Ziki's army's not that strong, actually, at top right. It, it's not, but he's got the static he needs to, to stall, I think. I think these oh. Reavers obviously going to end up doing some pretty big damage to the Sunkens here. But if Ziki spends his eco, gets a good surround here, he should be able to hold this off. He needs Guardians. I think he needs the Guardians at top right. I think this army is too strong versus Ultra Link to engage. Those are going to be dead Ultras, man. You can't fight this. But we've got a drop in the back. Big storm's going down. One of the Reavers even falls. Oh. All the Archons died too, so now it's just one Reaver in a dream Oof. with a couple of Zealots and Zeke. He's done it. It's, it's a, yeah. the, there's just no army anymore for, for Protoss. Yeah, there's just nothing. He's still mining full capacity here. Three HP Reaver getting on top of the mineral line here, top right, but it doesn't matter, man. Zeke's got more bases. Uh, he, as long as this Reaver somehow doesn't make it, he, he should be fine here. I mean, I guess John Hoon still has some mining mid left, but I mean, not much. Yeah. You don't even see a probe moving anywhere to build a Nexus. So this is it. And he finally realized that there are zealots at mid right. So he's going to elevator them, but scourge, we're going to take down the shuttle, which is a good catch. And now we've got isolated Reaver and five zealots that's it yeah this is the the miracle man this is where the dream happens here for john hoon nope oh, the plague. gets plague reaver gets targeted down by a ling ultra man's gonna clean it up one ultra he's gonna pop these zealots pop pop, pop. you're gone pop. you're gone pop. you're pop. gone pop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh man, three Archons still alive though for John Hoon. Uh, but yeah, I, this is just. Whoa, Zeke that's a lot of Archons. Him. Yeah, six? Wow, I don't know how he did that. Shoot. That's I a lot mean, of Archons, but uh, what about the Dark Swarm? I mean, Archons yeah, are good versus Dark Swarm, right? Uh, actually, they're not. Only their splash gets through the Dark Swarm. So, <laughs> you know, not the, not, not the best, unfortunately. But still, it's enough to push uh, Zeke back here. Ooh, Defiler might get caught out. Nope. Zeke's control too good here. And unfortunately, John Hoon going to have to attack into four Sunkins, a spore here. The Ultras go down, what? though. They died. Oh, that's a massive Ooh, storm. That is but a huge storm. There's Zeke's not many money. chunks left. Look at Zeke's money. Oh, oh no, man. He's got it's... 800 gas still. Dude, what? I, Zeke I has 100 supply. Where is it, though? I think it's in just idle drones, maybe, at bases. Yeah, we're seeing some idle drones in the main. Here we go. Some ultras, some zlings, able to push through here. And it looks like he will hold this for now. But, yeah, that was looking a lot closer than I thought this was going to be. 
Yeah, if he had somehow oh, gotten those zealots synced up with the Reaver at the very end, like didn't get picked off by the Scourge, I think he may have actually been able to get in there. But regardless, that was an absolutely sick game and amazing comeback from Zeke. Like I said, I was trolling with the Guardian Devour, but there it was. The Guardians did work. They killed like eight Templars, man. Eight, eight Templars, cannons. I mean, they made the space for the drop and really everything else to kind of get through. I couldn't believe we saw the Ultralist switch as well. Uh, that, that dark swarm timing on mid left with just a handful of Zerglings and a Defiler to, to clear the Nexus was just huge, man. Uh, and, you know, given that start, I'm, I'm so surprised at, uh, you know, the comeback we saw there from Zeke. So, yeah, man, well, well done to him. Congrats. Don't play Zeke on Nemesis, apparently. <laughs> He's very good at it. Uh, but yeah, that means we'll be getting into game number two here shortly. It's going to be on Sylphid. Oh, uh, yeah, I see it. It is going to be Sylphid. And we already saw Zeke tear Child GG apart on that map. The Mutas did insane amounts of damage and also his link control was nuts the zealots did no damage at any point in the early game i think he literally sent 12 across the map and what do you got he got one drone in the main i think that was it so john hoon he's gonna have to pull something out of the hat here because this is one of Zeke's best maps by far and chow even had the best bond which was top middle because of the cannon placement like i said so yep. game two we're up and running. Let's get into it and find out if Zeke can close out the series two to nothing. And spawning bottom left as our blue Zerg. It is Zeke. Yep, and in the bottom right, he desperately needs a victory. It is John Hoon. Well, Machine, Man. now that we see the spawns like this, you think we might see 973 finally? I think there's a good shot. Uh, it's the one thing that Ziki hasn't shown today. And if there's one thing I feel like I uh, know about Ziki, it's he likes to vary his play quite a bit. He's not a Zerg that really likes to get stuck doing one opener, uh, one build, one timing. Uh, for any amount of game too long here. Um, so I really wouldn't be surprised since we haven't seen him go anything other than Lair first today, uh, if he, you know, did go for something like a 973, especially given that it's still fitting. Yeah, I, I would really love to see it, especially because of the spawns. And like you said, because we haven't seen it all day long, I want to see something, something different. Not that last game wasn't different, because that was, I think, about as different as you can possibly get, but I would really like to see Zeke just bring it to John Hoon right from the get-go, like, hey man, oh, you got a forward forge? Oh, that's, it'd be unfortunate if your cannons can't help you. <laughs> it sure would be, man. And we're seeing a nine gate out of John Hoon here, so inevitable, uh, you know, early zealot pressure uh, going to be on the way from him. This is an overpool opener once again on Sylphid from Zeke. Um, so pool timing should be in plenty of time to defend against any kind of early zealots and likely even uh, going to be going for some pressure himself with Zeke. Now that drone got off the first hit, so again, he might be able to... Oh my god, he, he's he's fearless! Drone versus pro, he might kill that thing, man. He's got such good drone control, you can see John Hoon desperately trying to get any sort of space. He has found some space, so he does actually manage to slink it away, but that drone saying, no, you don't get to get in the main. You don't get to see the exact pool timing. You don't get to see if I went for gas. And that means John Hood's just going to have to turn around and try and guess at what Zeke's actually doing here. Yeah, I mean, you don't see many Zergs that have this good a drone control and can literally just push off the probe with the drone at the start of the game like this. It's, it's crazy to me how good Zeke is with his early drone control. Yeah, Zealot moved and I, out a little bit, but it looks like he's just going to be falling back. Yeah, he knows it's it's too dangerous to move out into the darkness like that. And unfortunately, Machine, this looks like the exact same opener as we saw in the Chow game. So not going to be 9-7-3. No gas. Oh, well, we do have gas coming up now, but this looks like a lair timing gas. Yeah, it could be. could be. Um, Sixlings moving in here, though. 
Looks like John Hoon getting in position, trying to oh block the entrance to the main, but Zeke able to slip four lanes and, by. And look at that. He splits off the two lanes. You know his hotkey had all six of the lanes. You know that, right? Yeah. And he was managed oh, to yeah. split them off and then also split the other four that were not in that group somehow into the main. So he lost nothing there. And now you've got a Zerg with probably the best foreign control in the scene, the most annoying multitask in your main. Oh, this is this is a heartbreak scenario for John Hoon. Yeah, this is going to get very, very dangerous uh, here very quickly for John Hoon. We're even seeing a little bit of a fake move out here from John Hoon. Um, at the same time, he can't really afford to move out. There's no cannon even morphing uh, at the natural yet. So oh, speed. Uh, really, Zeke's got to be feeling pretty good with his current position here. Oh, this is such a disaster for John Hoon. He's going to have four lanes in his main with speed. And he's in the dark. I mean, for all we know, if this was Eon Zerg, this could be a Ling Flood. There's so many Lings in the main with speed that if he ever draws the Zealot far enough out of position, he can backstab that cannon easily and then overrun the Zealot count. So this is just a real dire situation for, for John Hoon. He's going to move out with three Zealots. I don't think he realizes that he's about to run into speed, and this is going to get ugly real quick. Yeah, this is going to be a big, big problem here. Uh, for John Hoon, already plenty of Zerglings at home. Hydrogen before that layer here, which is a pretty common response given the position here. Zeke knows he can pressure. Uh, he's going to have that early Zergling speed. He's still got four Zerglings inside the main. And we're even seeing a Photon Cannon going down in the main here for John Hoon. Oh, well, that, that was a good angle of attack for Protoss. He needed to have this angle because there's so many links coming in. Oh my gosh, he still loses almost all of the Zealots. And actually... John Hoon is in real, real big trouble. Oh, he loses the Zealot in the main. And that cannon machine, can it move? Can it help oh, the it natural? Cannot, it cannot help this natural here. We're already seeing at least John Hoon getting into position with three more probes here. Has a Zealot, second cannon morphing, but it's only a matter of time here. Is yeah. Zeke going to dive on it? He might yeah, not. Zeke, he, Zeke's going to go Hydra's, man. He's just going to kill this guy. Wow, crazy. Yeah, we well, are seeing Hydralis finish up here. These four lings in the main just still being annoying. With that cannon finishing up, you know, there's not a ton of probe damage that can be done inside the main here. Well, when you 973, like, what minute in the game are you looking to bust? Because he could be, like, just Already. powering right now or, like, you know, building up an insane Hydra count and then waiting for, you know, John Hoon to feel comfortable. Like, oh, I'm not getting Hydra busted. And then he powers. I think this is an adjustment, right? He had the four lings in the main, so he went speed before where you would obviously go Hydroden first. You know, he kept the Zerglings in the main. He's able to scout the Corsair timing, so he knows this isn't like a Templar first. He can kind of do this power into Hydra, and I, I think it's still going to be very dangerous here for John Hoon. Still, only two cannons at the natural for John Hoon. He obviously was forced to make that third cannon inside the main. Everything's a little off, everything's a little slow. And that's a pretty exposed uh, forge here. Yeah, and the Hydras are exposed. The Corsair oh. almost ends up getting taken out. One of the one of the Zealots get taken out, and John Hoon's in panic mode. Like I said, he has a cannon in the main that you know doesn't help him at all. And meanwhile, Ziggy's drone count is fantastic. He's got a fourth hatch coming up. Five cannons going up at the natural. That's an Artosis pylon also. If that gets sniped, this game instantly ends. Oh, here we go. Targeting down the Zealots. Okay, Hydra's getting inside, focusing down the first cannon. Don't think they have range, uh, but they are clearing the Zealots as well here. Good control, honestly, from John Hoon, but Zealots are all gone now. Second cannon falling. There is a cannon remaining, but he's at least made enough space to kill off this forge. Uh, grabs a couple probes as well for his efforts here. And I don't think the Corsair of John Hoon has really been able to do anything. So uh, it, it's really looking like Zeke's in a great spot here. You get that pylon. Kill that pylon, man. You saw it. You saw that's an isolated pylon. Just knock it down. But instead, he's going to focus down the cannons. I don't think it's a bad choice either. He kills one of them and also picks off one that's building. The probes constantly have to be pull, pulled off just to not die. I, we also don't know if, oh. if John Hoon rebuilt his forge. So you don't see any more cannons being built. That's because he Ooh. didn't! So that's it! 
and he taps out GG. What an insane bust from Zeke there, and really sick Ling control in the beginning, which set him up for that. Yeah, man. We like we were saying, it was just an adjustment out of Zeke. He said, "You know what? You're gonna let me get four Zerglings inside your base, sure." I'll get that link speed. I'll make you pay for this, uh, you know, as, as much as I can. And still, despite everything, a, you know, able to get an insane amount of Hydralis out. Uh, and yeah, I mean, take a pretty decisive victory there, game number two. So, wow, Zeke, man, he's off to a roll today. He's uh, playing so, so well here. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I saw that probe and zealot move away from the choke between the gnat and the main, I'm like, oh no. No, you didn't. <laughs> he just instantly ran in. I can't believe he lost no links, because, like I said, as a StarCraft 1 player, you you obviously have them all hotkey. You're obviously move commanding at that point. I thought for sure, okay, maybe he's going to lose like one or two links, but he lost none. I'm like, oh, it's, this game is so done. You don't even know, Protoss. This game is so done. But that yeah. puts Zeke within, you know, striking distance now of making it into the next round. And John Hoon, he's 1-4. Like, he has to win his last two, for sure, to even have a chance. I don't even know if 3-5 will make it out, or 3-4, whatever it is. But he's definitely got to win the next two, otherwise 100% he's out of it. Yeah, man. I, You know, John Hoon was absolutely one of my favorites, once again, to, to kind of even take this season. I wouldn't even be surprised if he took first place, you know. But uh, as is, he's fighting for his life here in the round of eight. Uh, big, big surprise. And it just shows... The, the level of players we're dealing with here. There, is, there are no easy matches in this round of eight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, oh. round, this, this is the by far the hardest round of eight I've ever seen. I mean, this 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 bracket is so stacked. Literally, every single person can not only make it out, but potentially win the whole season. But we're going to be going into a break, and then we're going to be going into another Zerg versus Protoss. I know you guys are so excited. But this time around, it's going to be Shao Shui versus child gg so we'll be back in just a second and be bringing that to you